continue with the adjoint this time for a square matrix of order 3 by 3. The procedure for finding this is not that quick. We have to follow all the uh, uh, steps here. We will have to find out all the cofactors of every element of this matrix and then we will take the transpose of that matrix containing the cofactors of each and every element. Let's start from 1. 1 ka cofactor dikhayenge, nikalenge aur yahan likh denge. 1 ka cofactor kya hoga? Ab tak to cofactor nikalna aapko easy pa lag, easy, aata hoga aur easy bhi lagta hoga. 1 ka cofactor kya hoga? Positive hoga. Even position mein hai. 5 9 is a 45 minus 48. 45 minus 48 minus 3. Likewise, cofactor of the second element, the middle element is cofactor of the second element is it's an odd position. Negative hoga. 9 for 36, 36 minus 42, 36 minus 42 is minus 6. But this negative hoga cofactor so plus 6 ho jayega, aap check kar sakte hai. Cofactor positive 6 ho gaya because it's an odd position. Likewise, cofactor of 3 will be an, it's an even position, it will be positive. 8 for the 32, 32 minus 35, 32 minus 35 minus Likewise, you can take the cofactors of every other element of the second row and third column. So, I have written the cofactors of second row element and third row elements. You can check for yourself. Now, we will take his transpose to get the adjoint. So, adjoint ke liye hume cofactors nikalne. Cofactor matrix ab ready ho jaye. Uske baas ka transpose de rena hai. So, transpose may first row will become first column. So, after taking the transpose, we get the adjoint of the matrix. So, ye to ho gaya adjoint of the given matrix A. Adjoint again. And next, let's do a property on the adjoint of the matrix. This property of the adjoint of the matrix is A times adjoint of A is equal to determinant of A into I equal to adjoint of A into A. The proof of this property is actually this property is given as a theorem in your textbook. We can, the proofs of the Proofs of the theorem are not asked in the examination, but we should understand why A into a joint of A is equal to determinant of A into I. We will verify this in the next video. Let's just write down the property in this particular video. So, the second property is, which again is proof, I, uh, will be given in the next video. Determinant of a joint of A is equal to determinant of A raised to power n minus 1, where n is the Order of the square matrix A. Order of the square matrix A. So, these two properties are very useful in our further study of the adjoint. And its proof will be stated in the next video.